you are going to have to surrender during this next phase of your life. Why? Because you're about to unveil things about yourself that you never knew. Okay, how would you feel if your skin peeled back and you was a robot? How would you feel? Well, in a sense, maybe spiritually speaking or symbolically speaking, you're about to peel back the layers of yourself and find out or discover something about you. Now, this is how you know higher power comes into play, how God comes into play. You know God created you. So not only are you finding out what you're actually made of, you're going to find out why. And then you're going to be able to move forward with your purpose with more confidence. Let's say your whole life, right? You on the inside, you a robot. So you're trying to figure out why do you have these extra special abilities? Why is it that your instincts are a lot different or a lot faster, quicker? How come you see things or know things that other people catch on to way later? Well, it's because some of these things that are being revealed about you, it's like you was programmed that way. And now you're going to know how to use your tools moving forward because you got the insight on yourself and what you actually made of and what you actually capable of some of y'all about to find out you you way more capable than you thought and it's because you've been programmed to be that way okay so we're gonna be jumping into these vibes to see what this means for you first card up Oh, the four of swords, recovery mode. Some of y'all been wondering why you've been at rest. If you've been at rest, maybe even your mind has been at rest. There are certain burdens that have been lifted off of you. You've been put in kind of like a, maybe for some of y'all isolation phase, but you're being sat down to be shown something. I've been telling y'all, you know, a lot of the information gets revealed to you when you're sitting, just you and God. So things in your life are being fully restored. You are being fully restored. Let's say, for example, I was watching our robot the other night. And at the end, spoiler alert, guys, at the end, we find out, oh, <laughs> he's a robot. But it's because he was in an accident. And when he was under they had to make him a robot to save his life, basically. So he found out some things about himself. When he woke up, he was extra special. He had some different abilities. And this is how God is doing y'all. Maybe God had y'all at is isolation or in a rest season of your life because he was putting things inside of you and you weren't aware. You were at rest. You were asleep. All right. And so you guys are being upgraded, reprogrammed, and recovering. You're in the recovery room. You just woke up. You don't even know you're a robot yet. You just know you feel different. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes that you cannot see. Oh, the page of wands. And when you stand up again, there's going to be this extra level of like youthfulness. You guys are getting the energy of your youth. The creativity and the excitement of when you first began to dream. And then you stepping into the realm of like your gift, skills and talents, but like in a new or refreshed way um, with your new abilities or whatever it was that God programmed inside you. It's kind of like it's giving you the years back that the canker worm has stolen and you're getting refreshed. It's like I keep getting like a youthful energy. What you don't see is that something is getting a refresh or reboot and it's rewinding the time because even she's like kind of retro she's like futuristic retro so it's like you're rewinding the time you're getting your time back i'm hearing you know uh what's her name is it maxine waters reclaiming my time reclaiming my time okay let's see what we have that's working for you what's on the high vibrational end Ooh, the king of coins so this is either someone in your life or this is what you're being upgraded to. Everything is being upgraded. It seems as though everything is being multiplied. In the last video, I was telling you guys, a lot of you guys are stepping into your season of abundance. And whatever it is that you're learning about yourself, whatever it is that's being unveiled about you, it is going to put you in the forefront. For some of y'all, it's going to make you rich. If you found out you was a robot and you had extra special abilities, wouldn't you take advantage of your abilities? Well, this is what it might look like for some of y'all. For some of you guys, you're meeting someone. I want to clarify what, right now. Why is this king of coins here? Oh, the nine of wands. Nine of wands is all about been putting in a lot of work. Or a lot of work has been put into you. Somebody, God, 
uh, maybe even somebody behind the scene has been working tirelessly for this. In this deck, this nine of wands, he's working hard to finish his script because he knows when it gets done, king of coins. So there has been some hard work put in, male or female, take it how it applies. In the dark, you see how he doing this by himself? Nobody with him shooting in the gym, nobody with her shooting in the gym. But when it manifests, when it come out, there's no hiding it, there's no denying it. Also look at how these two people look. Some part, Somebody don't have on no chains, they getting their hands dirty. No chains, no jewelry, no sunglasses, no stunting, no fronting, no pretending. This is when it counts. A lot of y'all been putting in the work where it counts. Not out there stunt front and pretending. You putting in the work where it counts. And when you put in the work where it counts, it naturally just shows. Whether you're trying not, not to show or you're trying to hide, it doesn't matter. It spills out of you. And for some of you guys, this is what's happening. Your robot arm spilling out of you. You can't help it. You can't hide it. Now everybody just be like, you know what? The collective, they just a robot. I just, that's just, that's just what it is, man. So let's see. And I'm also getting superhuman. Like some of you guys, you have supernatural strength. So it's going to manifest as like superhuman strength. Like you're really taking things up. Let's see what is in the low vibrational space. What do you have to watch out for? The 10 of cups. Okay. First thing I got is homebody. Now, remember we was four swords, right? You were getting prepared. You were getting your rest. God was perfecting you, rewiring you reprogramming you rebooting your system all of those puns right and you was able to rest you were supposed to be in the bed right but now we're moving into a season where it's time for you to go out there and be that robot you can run 210 miles an hour you can jump 50 feet you can fly you can do all these things right but you at home not realizing hey it's time to go outside so Ten of Cups is also maybe um, I'm getting like the familiar things that are really comforting, your comfort zone, your home, take your shoes off, twinkle your toes, put your feet up, turn on Netflix, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It's like, nah, not when you realize you're a robot, you're supposed to go outside and run, you know, 90 miles a minute. That, that's fun. Okay. Now let's see. What is it that you got next seven days as it pertains to this energy? Oh, the Ace of Swords standing on the truth. Okay, so this is to me full realization and authentic nature. Because the Ace of Swords is all about, it's like the truth of who you are, but at the same time, who you were meant to be comes through and you're not ashamed of that anymore. You see this young lady in this photo, in this picture. She got her sleeve rolled up so you can see it, right? <laughs> but at some point, what I say, you ain't going to even be able to have it no more. So look what you turn into. Let's say you just go outside one day and you just that full-blown robot. I mean, it is what it is. You are what you are. That's your true authentic self. You put on a meat suit so that everybody could feel comfortable but now it's going to just spill up out of you. And you know, spiritually speaking, symbolically speaking, y'all know how it go. But it's the same demonstration. Nine of wands, you look one way, but then when you do the work, God finished getting done what he's doing. By the time you step on out, you're king of coins. And it's the same thing. It's like the true you is leading the way. But it's all because you peeled back your skin and saw you were a robot. Does that make sense? You were made extra special. You were wired differently. You were created to be different. Set apart for a reason. Now let's see. What is at the bottom of the deck? Oh, the Ace of Wands. And it's taking you to new places. Okay, you, you have new assignments. Okay, let's go back to our Nine of Wands and our King of Coins. Let's, let's go. All right, so you got the nine of wands. He's working hard. This is one assignment. I'm working hard. I'm shooting. I'm in the gym. I'm training. I'm perfecting my craft. God is talking to me. I'm praying. I'm getting rewired. 
and then boom. Now my assignment changes based on the new level I've been granted to. So instead of being the writer, now he moved into the director status. They won the Sundance Film Festival. He on the red carpet. See, the assignment changes the more you progress. The more he peels back the layers of himself or herself, the more that he is able to excel because of the abilities that they collect, okay? It's like each ability is a, is a stare. The ability to work by yourself, the ability to shoot with nobody cheering and clapping for you, the ability to lay down and rest when God tells you to rest, the ability to switch tasks when you're supposed to, the ability to look at yourself. Some people, I'm telling y'all right now, you was a bot the whole time, you ain't know. And I don't mean it in a bad way, like a bot, you know how to be talking about, ooh, they're a bot, they're a bot. No, I mean like you was made different the whole time, but you got to take that moment to sit down, separate yourself and to really look at who you are and what you're doing and really be real. Like, wait a minute, I'm a little different for real big leagues. So the Ace of Wands is in this deck is about going to a new planet of like entertainment. You take a look at yourself, you figure out who you are and now you have to do it. Like the whole vibration of the planet will align you with everything you're supposed to do. And it's up to you to go ahead and move forward and do it. Now, I do want to clarify this page of wands. Why is this page of wands here? The page of wands, your, you get this second wind, this um, youthful energy, gift skills and talents are being refreshed. What do we got? Oh, king of wands. Wow. And then it matures. It, again, things are jumping. I just heard leaps and bounds. Some of you guys are growing exponentially and it's growing through leaps and bounds. Look at this from the page to the king. Now I'm not saying you ladies are growing up to be uh, handsome men. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is your skills and your talents are growing and they will mature over time into greatness. So you got the, the refresh, you got the reboot, the reprogram, and the layers of yourself have been peeled back so that you can go out there, you can do your gifts, your skills, your talents, so that you can have longevity in your purpose. It will mature and get even better. Let's just say, God say, you know what? Let me show you how your arm really look. And that's the first time you ever noticed. So let me go see what you do with that. And then you go out there and you do your thing. Next thing you come back, God, look at me. I did this with the gift, the skill, the talent. Look what I did with the arm you showed me I have. He said, okay, cool. Remove the other sleeve. Boom. You know what I mean? And then over time, little by little, you get these revelations about yourself. You keep going out there using what you got. And it gets bigger and better over time. Next thing you know, you're 95, 100 years old. And you got all kind of stuff to pass down. Okay. So whatever it is that is revealed about you, that is your true authentic self that God is showing you, you've been told, it's okay to use it all the way. All right. So that's what I get for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Let me know in the comment section how it resonates with you. I'll see y'all in the next one.